I found out about the program through the speakers that that the SWIGS program was bringing to campus um, because it would go out to all you know all the departments in, in the social science and humanities and I was uh, really interested in the talks that were being given and so that's what kind of attracted me to the program and at the beginning of these talks they would talk about the program and please take these courses and my department encouraged us those who are into gender studies you know these are really good courses to take because the department only offers so many um, so I took the the intro course which is feminist debates taught by Susan Lurie and it was it was a whole new realm of literature that I really had never explored before and in a really interdisciplinary setting and I thought that that was awesome um, because you really got to hear about the perspectives that the different disciplines brought to the table. And had it not been for the SWIGS program and the interdisciplinarity and the course that I took, uh, I would have a much different paper than what I went in originally thinking that I was going to write for that course. And it was really strengthened uh, through that course and through the certificate. On top of that, we have the symposia. Uh, and that was a really cool, cool place too, because it's a friendly setting to present your paper that you're eventually probably going to go to conferences with or send out for publication. And you're able to get feedback and field questions in a friendly uh, but very helpful environment. And I, I, I mean, it was it was probably one of my favorite conferences that I've that I've uh, attended. My my current uh, dissertation project is examining um, the, sort of the intersection between race, uh, sexuality, and masculinity. Um, the psychology literature is showing that uh, in regard to employment, so getting a job, promotion, pay, uh, gay black men are more likely than straight black men to be hired, promoted, and paid uh, higher wages. Um, but there's very little explanation as to what exactly is going on there that, that, is, that is fueling that, right? Because we, what we think about, about uh, you know, sexuality in the workplace is that for men, at least, we know that straight men make more are more likely to be promoted and are more likely to get jobs than than uh gay men in regard to white men right but that's not that's not what's taking place among black men and so i think that there's a really interesting story to be explored there so what i'm examining is notions of how notions of black masculinity combined with notions of gay masculinity to maybe produce some some interesting uh arrangements right i mean like is it that black gay men are perceived as less of a threat in the workplace than straight black men. Because research, I mean, um, I know at least by Kristen Schilt is kind of showing like, you know, when you're a, uh, a straight black man, you're perceived as being threatening in the workplace, right? Like your shows of passion are seen as uh, shows of aggression. But is gay masculinity offsetting that? And are gay black men seen as less of a risk in the workplace? And so are they more likely to be hired? Is that why they're more likely to be promoted? I don't know, but that's what my dissertation is going into, going to be examining. So I think that one thing that I really appreciate about, about the SWIGS program is that we're it's a small program at a small university, right? So you are working with leading faculty in, 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 in this realm of research in a very intimate setting. I mean, you're really able to get great feedback, net your, network yourself really well in these faculty and get really great advice um, that I don't think you'd get at other universities. I just don't because the programs might be much larger. And so I think that the size of the program is something that is, is a really big draw uh, for the SWIGS program here at Rice, and also how much feedback you get and how much interdisciplinarity you get. I mean, the example that I, I like to fall back on when I try and um, talk to people about this program is that I was doing a paper in the feminist debates class on uh, space and masculinity, so how masculinity differs dependent upon the space in which it's being enacted. And uh, I was about two weeks out from presenting this, and uh, Baird, an anthropologist, was like, well, what space theory are you using? And it kind of, I, I had no idea what to say because I don't have any literature in sociology on space theory, or at least none that I've been exposed to yet. And he was like, oh, well, I have a list of things for you to read. And it was incredibly helpful. And it, that, the, the, the space theory that I wound up uh, using for my paper laid the foundation and really gave me the theoretical argument to, to, to even complete this paper. Uh, so the, the help that, you're, that you get from interdisciplinarity of this program in a small program, I just, I would be shocked if you could find that anywhere else.